Daryl Morey with a single tweet might have just changed the NBA for decades to come. To start this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to CQ who are the sponsors of this video. The app shows you if you're getting a good price on all your tickets and is hands down the best way to get Pro-democracy protests starting in June 2019 have erupted across Hong Kong demanding the separation between Hong Kong and the Chinese government. These protests initially started due to an unpopular bill, but have since then evolved into a much broader movement for a pro-democratic government. Over the last few months, these peaceful protests have turned violent, with frequent clashes between the Chinese police and protesters. Images of police brutality and abuse of power have been circling the internet, as well as reports that China is forcefully harvesting the organs of their prisoners. All leading to Daryl Morey's tweet, Fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. This seemingly small tweet set off a much bigger course of events that inevitably changed the landscape of the NBA. The NBA for years has been known to be the most free-thinking and outspoken sports league in the world. But in this tweet, Daryl Morey attacked a much more powerful entity, the NBA's bottom line. NBA China is one of the NBA's most lucrative businesses, having an estimated worth of around $4 billion and is responsible for around 10% of the NBA's revenue. Every year, this revenue share grows with an estimated share of 20% in the next 10 years. When Daryl Morey attacked the communist regime, the answer was the ban of all Houston Rockets reports and streams across China. The Rockets, who are China's most popular team because of Yao Ming, rely greatly on the Chinese government for their revenue, and Morey's tweet left the Rockets to choose between money or doing what's right. The Rockets decided to go with an in-between response, by keeping Daryl Morey but releasing apologies from the team owner, Morey and James Harden. Tilma Fertitta, the owner of the Rockets, tweeted shortly after that Daryl Morey does not speak for the Houston Rockets. Daryl Morey deleted his tweet and also apologized for causing any offense to the Rockets fans and for summing up a complicated event in a single tweet. James Harden also apologized, saying we apologize, we love China, we love playing here. The NBA was also extremely quick to apologize, saying that they recognized that the views expressed by Houston Rockets general manager Daryl Morey may have offended many of our friends and fans in China, which is regrettable. Many NBA fans were upset over the NBA's lack of support for Morey's pro-democracy speech, with several US politicians demanding a stronger stance. For example, Senator Ted Cruz tweeted, As a lifelong Houston Rockets fan, I was proud to see Daryl Morey call out the Chinese Communist Party's repressive treatment of protesters in Hong Kong. Now in the pursuit of money, the NBA is shamefully retreating. Presidential candidate Julian Castro pointed out that China is using its economic power to silence critics, demanding that the United States must lead with our values and speak out for pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong and not allow American citizens to be bullied by a government. Senator Rick Scott also tweeted saying that over every major company. This can best be seen when CNN reporter attempts to get Harden and Westbrook's thoughts on the matter and is quickly shut down. Hi, Christina McFarland, CNN. Um, the NBA has always been a league that prides itself on its player and its coaches being able to speak out openly about political and societal affairs. I just wonder after the events of this week and the fallout we've seen, whether you would both feel differently about speaking out in that way in future. Um, it's a legitimate question. This is an event that's happened this week during during the NBA. It, this particular question has not been answered. James. Any other questions? Uh, gentlemen in front. Um, this, this censorship can be seen throughout the league, with free Hong Kong signs being confiscated at preseason games and pro Rockets fans being arrested in China. Even coaches and players are afraid to speak out as their economic interests in China might be severely impacted. There's a lot of controversy surrounding Steve Kerr in particular for not speaking out against the Chinese government, especially when he is extremely vocal when it comes to American politics. President Trump in the following clip calls out Steve Kerr for his lack of response. Away with for so many years. Um, do you believe that Daryl Morey shouldn't be fired over something like this? Uh, I appreciate uh, the, the fact that you have to ask me that question. Um, I get it, and I would hope that you appreciate uh, my right to not not answer that question because all it does is uh, create uh, a headline and uh, a soundbite, and I choose not to be a soundbite tonight. 
Steve Kerr's silence could be because of the disastrous effects it could have on his entire team. Both Kevon Looney and Clay Thompson have signed big shoe deals with the Chinese company Anta. Any comment from Steve Kerr could cause both of them to lose their sponsorships. In addition, the Warriors are the second biggest market in China behind the Rockets, and any comment from Steve Kerr could lead to more disastrous effects for the league. Another blatant and shocking version of the censorship can be seen in The Athletic, a major sports journalism website. The Athletic throughout the entire NBA China debate remained suspiciously quiet and only addressed the story when it became impossible to ignore. When they proceeded to contextualize Mori's tweet, they did so in an extremely pro-China way, calling the protest disruptive and pinning the blame on the protesters for turning violent. This article was obviously met with a lot of criticism, bashing The Athletic for their pro-China stance. The Athletic then proceeded to delete over 200 negative comments and replace them with only pro-China comments. This censorship has largely been caused due to the insane investments China has in this website, forcing them into a pro-China stance. This can be seen again with Nets owner and Alibaba co-founder Joseph Tsai, who also attacked Daryl Morey, releasing an official statement on his Facebook. In this statement, he claimed that the freedom of speech is void when it derails countries, societies, and communities. He argued that the protests were detrimental to China as a whole. Joseph Tsai up till now has refused to get involved in politics, but presumably has done so due to higher pressure from the Chinese government itself. In the face of all this, fans have turned to superstars to speak out on the issue, but have been met with silence. Stephen Curry, who has in the past been a key voice in social change, remained largely neutral when asked about the situation, claiming that he does not know enough to weigh in. There's a, a huge weight and, mat and gravity to it. Sorted out, but I just don't know enough about Chinese history and, and that and what that how that's influenced you know modern society today um, and that interaction to speak on it. So that's just where we're at. And, uh, I'm sure, this is not going away. So we'll, we'll come back to it. Great, thank you. This silence could be because of Stephen Curry's biggest sponsor, Under Armour's huge market in China with over 300 million dollars in sales every year. Another outspoken athlete who is unusually quiet is LeBron James, who has not made a single comment about the NBA China situation. This could be because of Nike's huge market in China with over $1.68 billion in revenue each year. Any comment from LeBron James could greatly impact Nike's bottom line in the entire league as he is seen as one of the most well-known stars of the entire NBA. However, any comment from LeBron James would most definitely cause change and NBA fans are pressuring him to speak out on this issue. Eventually, Adam Silver released an official statement on the NBA's relationship with China, saying that the NBA will not put itself in a position of regulating what players, employees, and team owners say or will not say on these issues. We can simply not operate in that way. This statement was extremely powerful as Adam Silver stood up for the freedom of speech. The CCTV angered by this announcement said that they'll no longer be airing any preseason games until a more satisfactory conclusion is reached. They argued once again that freedom of speech is void when faced with derailing and hurting another country. They even went as far as signing Donald Sterling's racist remarks and subsequent exit from the league as a similar time when freedom of speech was void in the face of what is considered satisfactory. Adam Silver responded with the following statement. As some of you may know, I, I issued a statement um, shortly before this press conference um, because I thought there was a lot of misunderstanding out there about our position. I thought we had been somewhat straightforward, but I can understand, given translations and given interpretations in different parts of the world, why there might have been um, some confusion. And uh, essentially, what I've said in that statement is the long-held values of the NBA are to support freedom of expression, um, certainly freedom of expression by members of the NBA community. And in this case, Daryl Morey, as the general manager of the Houston Rockets, enjoys that right as one of our employees. Um, what, what I also try to suggest is I understand that there are consequences from that exercise of, of in essence, his freedom of speech. and. You know, we will have to live with those consequences. It's my This statement essentially began a war between the NBA and China, as 11 out of 13 Chinese companies partnered with the NBA have cut ties. Perhaps the most famous company, Anta, released the following statement, claiming that they are shocked and dissatisfied as Chinese NBA fans by the recent comments made by the Houston Rockets and NBA executives. 
Enta firmly opposes and resists all acts that harm the interests of the motherland and will immediately stop renewing contracts with NBA companies. This obviously has a massive impact for Rajon Rondo, Clay Thompson, Kevon Ludi, and Gordon Hayward, who are all anti sponsored athletes and now most probably sneaker free agents. This exit of all major Chinese companies has obviously hurt the NBA revenue, which hurts every single player, coach, and fan. Front offices are estimating that the league's revenue will drop drastically without China's support. This is when it becomes catastrophic for the NBA. The NBA salary cap is calculated from a percentage of the league's total predicted revenue. With a smaller revenue, the 2020 to 21 salary cap might be down by up to 15% as the NBA adjusts. A 50% hit to this current salary cap of 160 million would equate to around $98.6 million. This would be absolutely devastating for every single NBA team and player. Consider the Houston Rockets, for example. With both Harden and Westbrook on a Supermax contract, they're receiving a combined $82 million together. This means that out of $98.6 million the Rockets have underneath the salary cap, $82 million of those dollars will be going to two players. This is going to force the Rockets into paying an absolutely obscene luxury tax of over $75 million just to keep their players. Teams such as the Sixers, Golden State, and the Miami Heat will all be crippled by this massive debt that is about to hit them. All these teams have been preparing for the future based on an increasing salary cap instead of decreasing and are going to have to drastically change their teams to the future. This also hurts players who have not yet signed extensions because teams are going to be much more careful before committing a lot of money to a single player. Pascal Siakam, who hasn't signed an extension yet, is probably going to receive a much lower offer than ever before because of this lower salary cap. Not only does it affect extensions, it hurts every single star player. The max contract a player can receive is around 35% of the salary cap. This obviously is going to be much lower, and Giannis, who is probably going to receive a Supermax, will be receiving a much smaller Supermax when compared to other superstars such as John Wall and Anthony Davis. Overall, even with these negative consequences, this feud is raising a lot of awareness over a very serious issue that hopefully will be resolved. However, this NBA China feud is not only going to impact the Rockets, but every single future and current NBA player. That is going to be all for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.